Hello everyone, and welcome back to Rival Stars Horse Racing, where we're back at Butterfly Trail Horse Ranch. You know, that name has really warmed up on me over the past few weeks, and I'm really feeling so happy to be here because I have some new surprises for you guys, like Desperate Goldfish. Oh my gosh, not only do I love that name, but just look at how beautiful he is. Okay, you guys don't happen to know Thoughtful Edge or Official's Benefit, but look at how how adorable this cult is. I am so in love with him. Desperate Goldfish, oh my gosh, look, he's got beautiful spots down the side. He has got a beautiful like half face, half mask marking. I am completely in love with him. I think he's going to be just so much freaking fun to be able to grow up and to see how he turns out. Oh, just look at all those beautiful poses. Oh my gosh, I love it. And he is a great example of the new direction that I really want to start taking Butterfly Trails Horse Ranch, which is honestly breeding up some horses that just make me so happy and delighted to see. Being able to really experiment and play with their genetics and just enjoy having some beautiful horses wandering around while at the same time still tackling all of the goals that we are currently working on. There's quite a few of them, like training our horses, which TJ is happy about. Every bit helps. I wish my aunt lived nearby so she could see our progress. She'd love it. TJ's always so pumped up and happy. That makes me happy. Uh, and then we do have a rival race that we still need to take on too. So it's not like we can just focus on breeding up a bunch of pretty horses. But we are going to be focusing on breeding up a bunch of pretty horses. <laughs> so let me go ahead and review everybody we've got. We've got Radish Dreamer, our founder, who we're definitely keeping around. Because apparently it's very uncommon to have a black horse, as many of you guys have been saying. And I love how you guys are teaching me so much about the names for the different markings that the horses have. And I really love the stripes that Radish Dreamer do has down her side. I wanna see if we can really carry that on with her lineage. I would love if you could see all of her children that she has had too, that would be really cool. And then we have Blackberry Bagel, our level two horse that has done so much for us. She has won us first place. She has truly, truly accomplished so much in her life, except now we're really struggling because it doesn't seem like she can beat the horses that our rival Richard happens to have with him. So we're gonna have to keep an eye on that. Then we have one of our studs, Anxious Apple, who just looks so cool with his stripes around his eyes, that beautiful, beautiful patterning down his back. At one time, we thought we had to have both the beauty and the speed and the accomplishment to be able to go out and like win all these races. But now I'm actually feeling pretty good about things and I'm actually feeling like we can have two lines. We can have one line like Blackberry Bagel dedicated to wins and we can have another line like Anxious Apple that's going to really focus on just having beautiful horses that we can celebrate. Uh, also, I love them so much. I think we're going to start like maybe copying how they look. So we might really come in and we might get a good look at what Anxious Apple looks like. And we might start recreating these horses in Sims 3 and even in zoo crafting so that they can go ahead and join us in other like lineages because I think that would be so much fun. So many of you guys are really pumped about the idea of doing a special kind of, oh, and let's actually change this to, let's see, he's not a racing horse, he's a field horse. Let's see, field, garden, infield. Yeah, we'll have him in the garden. Oh, he's so pretty. <laughs> he just really is. Look at him. Oh my gosh. But I like the idea of maybe doing a Sims 3 legacy built around horses and the way that people can really heal by working a lot with horses and maybe even running a very special place where we can have a boarding school for troubled teens. So I'm playing with that idea. I need to get Sims 3 working on my computer again, but at the very least, we can always remember these gorgeous horses, not only through our Rival Stars horse racing adventures, but fingers crossed as lovely custom colors and coats that we might have wandering around in zoo crafting too. So that's kind of like where my mind is out for that. And then we have Gooseberry Genius! And Gooseberry Genius worked us so, so hard at being able to be a really fantastic racer. She's won us a ton of money. She's gotten first place so many times. However, even she was not tough enough and not strong enough to be able to go ahead and win against our rival. So I have spent a lot of time working with Bog Broccoli! 
You guys are here for Horse Blog Broccoli, who is actually the child of Gooseberry Genius, who is the child of Blackberry Bagel. So you can kind of see how we have that lineage building up over time. He is a tier four horse. He doesn't have a lot of fancy markings. He just kind of has more plain markings other than that swirl on his face, which I really love. And he has actually won first place a ton. I've been letting some of the other jockeys race him and he's been doing a great, great job. So I am thinking he might be the horse we need in order to beat our rival and carry on with expanding the Butterfly Trails horse ranch. So that's definitely going to happen. And now we also have <gasps> Waffle Wiggle, who I do love her colors. I'm still trying to decide what we might do with her. She is one of Radish Dreamer's children. She's really pretty, but we'll have to see. I'm really going to have to give some thought to like what we might do with her. She has a long lineage of spotted horses in her or, uh, like pedigree. So we're going to have to think about that. And I would like you guys to go ahead and meet our newest mare that I actually got from the market on a whim because she was covered with such beautiful spots and dots. Officials a banquet and her baby. Look at this little guy. Isn't he so freaking cute? I really love him. I mean, come on, Desperate Goldfish. What an amazing name. And because he's a lower tier horse, we're not going to train him up. We're just going to skip to Stallion. All right, fingers crossed, fingers crossed. Yes, he looks amazing. Desperate Goldfish, you look so fantastic. I can't wait to see what kind of cool babies he might have. But that also means we now have almost filled up our, ho our horse stalls, so we need to be a little careful. And I might need to really start being stricter about picking between some of the horses and the babies that they may have. We might even have to retire a former racer or two. So we're gonna we're gonna be careful with that. But for now, our racing like fame is riding on Blog Broccoli's shoulders and our like fame of beautiful spotty horses is actually starting to pop up with lots of new horses. Official's Banquet, she's done a good job of being spotty too. Uh, but all right, I'm actually kind of curious. I want to see who is available as a current stud. <gasps> Lovely Lake! Hello, Lovely Lake! And then <gasps> Devious Gossip! Oh, look at him! I like all of his spots! Wow, that could be really fun too! Then there's Danger Riddle. <gasps> Ooh! If we upgrade our full stall, we might get a like pedigree five or like a level five horse. Oh, look, it's Destiny Dog! And he's got some of those faint stripes too. What is his heritage, I wonder? Oh, wow. He's got like some really cool, look at nice caterpillar. Oh, that's a beautiful looking mare. Oh gosh. See, I'm really going down the rabbit hole of getting obsessed with just all of the colors that they could come in. There's danger riddle. And then we have anxious apple who is our current stud, but I, I, I mean, he's a really good stud now that I think of it, but we might go ahead and consider potentially changing one of the studs to desperate goldfish. Huh? I'm going to have to think about it. I kind of want to see what Officials Banquet and Anxious Apple might have, but we do have a story goal of breeding a grade four horse. So maybe we should go ahead and focus on that for now. All right, if we wanted a grade four horse, I think that Gooseberry Genius is our highest level of the mares that we have. Yeah, double check in that. Yeah, Waffle Wiggles level two, Radish Dreamer, Blog Broccoli, Wait, Blog Broccoli, I thought you were a stud. You're a mare? <laughs> I got Blog Broccoli totally mixed up with Desperate Goldfish. Oh my gosh. So she's actually a grade four mare, which means <gasps> we could have like a 100% chance of a grade four full. Oh my goodness. Okay, we may try that in just a second. Can I upgrade this full stall? Ugh, not until we unlock more goals. So let's go ahead. Blog Broccoli, we're gonna actually have her race really quickly to try to beat our rival by getting third place or better at Yara Park. And then we'll celebrate winning, because I'm gonna be really confident that we're gonna win. <laughs> we'll celebrate winning by having her have a grade four full. So let's do this. All right, we've gotta go ahead and enter this. Blog Broccoli. Oh, the odds are looking pretty good, you guys. Okay, so we're gonna select her. No bet, and I have to go ahead and win this. Actually, let's, uh, I'm confident we're gonna get in the top three. Why not? Confident, confident that we're gonna get in the top three. We're starting to like play with the big leagues here. Let's do this. I love being able to see all their genetics. It's so much fun. It's kind of like doing a random pets laboratory, except we're doing it with horses here. 
All right, let's be ready. Oh, dang it. Wild-Eyed Snooze. Oh, what a name. Early Danger is the one we're really racing against, friends. All right, I want that sprint charging, being in the middle. Come on, Vlog Broccoli, we could do this. All right, we're gonna get just a little bit, a little bit ahead. Because as long as we can sprint charge, I think we're good. Because it's still a little bit of a ways. All right, come on, Vlog Broccoli. All right, we've got this girl. Let the other horses kind of just hem us in a little and let us charge all the way up. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and use just a couple sprints. All right, wait for it, wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. Come on, come on, come on. Family's Fable, what a cute name. All right, all right, all right. I think it's gonna be, soon gonna be time. All right, come on, Block Broccoli, we can do this. Okay, all right, I think we're gonna see the end soon. Come on, come on. We need to place at least third. Oh yes! Woo! Good, we managed to make it. I had a feeling we wouldn't be able to beat early danger, but we did blow up Broccoli, good girl. We did manage to get there. You've still got a long way to go to defeat me. I'm not trying to defeat you, dude. I could care less about you. I just want to breed pretty horses. But you're standing between me and those pretty horses and that is absolutely unacceptable. So, oh, we did it! Yay! Oh, and we need to manage our storehouse because it's full. What? I can't even get the freaking concrete this guy is trying to throw at me. I swear. All right, let's go ahead and sell some of the standard feed. I'm sure people are going to be very happy if they're able to take good care of their horses. We'll sell some of the speed feed. I probably shouldn't be selling that. Oh, no, I sold too much. Oh, well. But let's go ahead and accept this. I feel like he just threw this brick in our yard. Like, down with your horse ranch. If I had to give a compliment, well, I wouldn't. Mark my words, you'll fail like your father. My dad died, you jerk. Like, you have some daddy issues yourself if you're, like, obsessed about this stuff. Just walk away. Walk away, Calthrope. All right, I'm not going to put up with him. He's just standing in between me and having really, really pretty horses. So speaking of those pretty horses, let's go ahead and celebrate. Ooh, what's going on in the dailies real quick? All right, race with a higher jockey. Sell a horse with a back position preference starter. Win any 40 items. Well, you know, those all sound awesome. However, let's check the market for horses. There is Superstar Spook, the level four stallion. We could get him. Volcanic Perfection is quite pretty too, but I think we're okay. So we're actually gonna go ahead and we are going to pop into, oh, we need to collect the income from all of the people on like camping and having their weddings here at our little ranch, which I love. And now that we've finally got Blog Broccoli winning us that all vital win, let's go ahead and we're gonna have her have a baby! I'm so excited about this! So we're gonna grab Blog Broccoli, and we're going to go ahead and have maybe Destiny Dog? Yeah, because we need a like 100% chance of having a level 4 horse. Let's see. Danger Riddle? You have Stranger's Herd, Holy Tambourine, Zombie Biscuit. I wonder, it might be kind of fun to have a more white tone to our horses. But Destiny Dog has a really cool tail and he's got stripes down his side, just like our Radish Dreamer. And he's got a lot of colors, like with Nice Caterpillar and like Water Bishop in his history. So we'll give this one a try. And we'll see how this goes. All right, and we're just gonna skip the wait time, because why not? <gasps> yes! What a Oh my gosh, this is what it's all about. Look at this cult. This is so beautiful. What the absolute heck? I can't believe how gorgeous this one turned out. Oh my gosh.
gosh, this is why I really, really, really love this. King Miracle. Oh my gosh. Let's randomize for just a little bit. Useless Cardinal, Wax Wax, Sunlight Score, Nebula Friend, Sleepy Beard, Stone Snooze, Central Cactus, Fruit Flash, <laughs> Closing Joke, Flying Change, Inf Dove Almond. Oh, if it was a girl, absolutely. Assassin Snail. Let's see, Marine, Real Giant, Carnival Hunter, Gambling Aroma, Cinematic Cherub, Donkey's Destiny, Extra Masquerade. Are any of these really stand out to me? The names are just so freaking hilarious. Let's see, Safe Darkness, Required Sparkle, Art Accordion, Oh, Skyflower, Rivers Raw. Rivers Raw is actually a really good one. River Rider, Ostrich Episode, hmm. Quiet Budget, Justers, Fevers, Zebra Lighthouse. Hmm. Success Snowball, Imperial Diamond. You know what? That sounds so freaking cool. We're going to go with the name Imperial Diamond. Kind of, kind of a big name for a smaller horse, but he looks fantastic. I got all of my fingers crossed that he's going to grow up into something amazing. Yay! And that means I think we have actually finally gotten to level seven. <sighs> I'm really looking forward to being able to add more horse stalls and just really play with pretty genetics and just see how gorgeous our horses look from time to time. All right, let's go ahead and wrap this up. Now that's what I call horsepower. Yay, please tell me we're ready for new stuff. Yes, into the silvers. New goals available, new location unlocked, Palm Coast, and new customization options now available for our horses. I like it. That Richard is nothing but an idiot. Before we take him out on um, before we take him on at Palm Coast, we need to get our team fitter. I am totally here with you for all of that. So yeah, we need to do quite a bit uh, to go ahead. Ooh, missing out. I was reading about some new breeding improvements in Stables Monthly, and I'd like to try. So upgrade a full star to tier seven and buy a horse stall. Alright. We're gonna finish off today by upgrading our full star or a full stall, there we go, to tier seven. So we can have even better horses. Does that mean we could breed blog broccoli and have a chance of a tier five horse? Oh, <gasps> we could. Oh, you guys, dang. A chance of a tier five horse. I think I might try this. Gosh, that's gonna be a little bit tricky, a little bit tricky because we still need to nurture the current baby, huh? All right, well, I'm gonna think about this uh, as we get ready to have this little guy, Imperial Diamond, up on his feet. I really like him a lot. We do need to add a new horse stall. Thank goodness we have like the money for that. Ah, and now we've like maxed out how many horse stalls we can have. Ah, oh, this is just fun. I forget how much fun this is until we get back in here and I'm just so excited to see all of our beautiful horses. But all right, guys, let me know what you think of Official's a benefit. She's done a good job of adding desperate goldfish with all of his beautiful spots and his half mask face. And I would love to know who you think is like some of our best horses yet that we should be keeping for breeding. But all right, thank you guys so much for joining me. If you could, do please leave a like for our brand new Imperial Diamond. And if you would like like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures do please consider subscribing but most importantly stay curious and i'll see you guys next time bye bye